Hey there guys, welcome back to AFC Game by Game. This is my preview for the match tomorrow. Arsenal hosting Liverpool at the Emirates Stadium. The late kickoff, and uh, as always, I'm buzzing for it. But first of all, just before I get into this video, one thing I quickly want to mention. I did feature on BBC Sport recently, which was um, surreal, really, really, really odd. And I just wanted to say thanks to all you guys for supporting me. I know that this isn't the biggest Arsenal channel. It's, it's a channel that I struggle to keep consistent with at times. But without you guys supporting me, without all... 4,200 and something of you uh, tuning into my videos on a, on a regular basis, then there's no way the BBC would have put, put, picked me up and put me in um in their latest feature. So it's, yeah, really, really humbling. And um, again, thanks to all you guys for making that possible. It was just me talking about Unai Emery coming in, Arsene Wenger, my time supporting the club, that kind of thing. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. It's a really nice edit um, with brilliant other Arsenal fans in it as well. Ian Wright uh, featured David Ornstein and a load of other Arsenal fans that were there at the game before Leicester um, a week or so ago. So yeah, go and check it out. And again, thanks ever so much for um, supporting AFC Game by Game and uh, you know giving me the platform to go out and, and do that sort of thing because it really is beyond my wildest expectations. So lastly, thank you for that. So let's get into the game tomorrow. Arsenal hosting Liverpool. It's, it's our biggest game of the season, if I'm being brutally honest. We've played Chelsea, we've played Man City, and I think the expectation before the start of the season was that we could sort of, I don't want to say allow for them to be write-offs, but the, we, we did know that if we lost those two games, we can't really panic too much. And you know, that's exactly what happened. And since then, we've gone on a fantastic winning run, and we've won something like 11 games on the spin. It's been phenomenal. Unfortunately, that came to an end against Crystal Palace last week in the 2-2 draw, which was probably our sloppiest performance in some time, which is a shame considering that I thought against Leicester, we were really starting to come into our best patch of form. And it is... For me, slightly worrying going into this game against Liverpool and the fact we haven't been starting games so well is a concern, especially when coming up against a side that have the likes of Mane, Firmino, Salah and even Shakiri who's playing well for them this season. It is a concern um, that you know we could be, I don't want to say out of the game in the first half, but a team like Liverpool, if we allow them to have the chances that we've given other teams in the first half, we could quite easily be a couple of goals down, which is a harsh reality, but if we don't shore up at the back, then it is something that is an, in, an inevitability, uh, which is a horrible thing to say, but it could well happen in this game. We've really got to be a bit lucky and uh, fortunate throughout this game, and I don't think a draw would be the worst result. It would still keep us right up there, but I think at home against Liverpool, if we were to win this game, it would really, really make a statement. Everyone's saying that Arsenal, uh, we've won all these games, but we haven't had a proper test yet, which is fine. Um, let them say that. I'm perfectly fine with them saying that. You look at the other teams around the, uh, around the league, they aren't really... Some teams like United certainly aren't picking up um, points where they should be, whereas we are just quietly going about our business. But making a statement victory would really make us serious... I'm not going to say title contenders, but I think we'd be taken certainly more seriously as top four contenders. I, I look at Jermaine Jean as saying, oh, well, Arsenal's still going to finish out the top four. And it does my absolute head in because we've, I think we've proven ourselves very well so far this season. We've, pro we've proven we're capable. But getting a victory or a good performance at least against a title challenger such as Liverpool um, would really cement our position and our credibility this season. So let's go out there, put in a good performance. And then we've got Tottenham coming up and we've got United coming up. So these aren't easy games, but if we can get victories... If we can get a good amount of points and if we can put in a very strong performance, then we will be taken seriously this season. I still think there's people out there that don't take us seriously. Maybe rightly so, you could say. I mean, given how things went last season, given that we are still shaky in the first half, why should we be taken seriously so far? But if we're going under the radar, I'm perfectly fine with people not talking about us. But people are just starting to pay a bit more attention to us now that we are starting to come into this run of form. And this is really our biggest test of the season, as I say. Now, Liverpool are not going to be an easy team to face. They play brilliantly this season. They go into this game on the back of that brilliant win against Cardiff, um, scoring four goals at home. So they are a goal-scoring team. We know that whenever we do play them, it's typically a very high-scoring game. Last season, 3-3 uh, free, free at home. So it's it, you know it's going to be an entertaining spectacle for the neutral, but it's going to be an exhilarating and probably, um, you know, exhausting game for an Arsenal fan. But hopefully we can come out of this game with uh, just one more goal um, more than they will have. So, yeah, um, the notable absentees for Liverpool, Jordan Henderson and Keita in midfield. I think they'll still have enough in midfield to um, cause us problems in this game with my with Wijnaldum, Milner. They're still going to be tough. I mean, I really hope we bring back that partnership of Granite Jacker and Torreira in the midfield. If we see Jacker start to get left back, although I think he did okay there against Crystal Palace, I don't want to see him up against Mo Salah. That's not going to be fun. I really, really hope we've got even Monreal called the CX back for this game. Um, hopefully Monreal just because he's more of a solid option in a minute. Um, and then the back two, that's where the question marks really do lie because Mustafi was not particularly convincing against Blackpool. Apologies, there was no um, coverage of that game, by the way. This week's just been hectic for me. But the, the win against Blackpool was a good 
positive boost going into this game. It wasn't the 4-5-0 mauling that I wanted to see us get, but at least we won the game. We do go into this match on a bit of a high. Um, so it's uh, question marks over Mustafi, whether he should play in this game. I think personally, I would like to see Socrates and Holding. I think that would work really well for us. And we've got to hope that Bellerin's back at right back. Lichstein, I think, is going to really struggle. I mean, if we've got slow fullbacks in Granite Jacker and Lichstein are starting this game up against Salah, Firmino, Mane... I hate to say it, but this game could be over before it's even begun. Um, I don't want to not put faith in Lichsteiner, but we need pace at the back. And we're not going to have that uh, if we've got Lichsteiner and Jacka starting as the fullbacks. But hopefully that won't be the case. Hopefully we'll have our fullbacks back for this game. Uh, the front three, the, um, well, I say, the, the three playing behind the striker, it's, it's a tough one. I actually, I, I'm really keen to see Danny Welbeck start this game just because I think we'll need his work rate to track the likes of Salah, Mane, Firmino. I'd probably go with a free behind the striker of Welbeck, Ozil and Iwobi, but Iwobi has to play a lot better than he did at uh, Selhurst Park. But I think at home he's been exceptional for us this season. If he can bring the work ethic, the work rate and the skill to the game, then um, I'm hoping that that blip at Selhurst Park will be nothing more than just a blip. And in the striking role, I would play Lacazette and get him to tie the Liverpool defence out and then introduce Aubameyang from the 60-minute mark. I think that's something that's worked well for us so far this season. As much as I want to see us play a 4-4-2, maybe compact the midfield a little bit more and have the pace of Aubameyang, um, I... I just think he's more of a weapon off the bench. And especially considering Liverpool are a team that wants to press so much throughout the course of the game. Imagine them pressing and then having a striker come in like a Bamiyang and he's coming up against Van Dijk and Lovren who are going to be tiring towards the end of the game having been run around by Lacazette, Ozil, etc. for 60 minutes already. Bring a Bamiyang on, get him in behind the lines and that could be a real, real potent force for us. But it is going to be a tough game. Um, you know, it goes without saying, don't underestimate Liverpool. Shouldn't have underestimated Palace and... Yeah, Liverpool at home is going to be a tough fixture. We are coming up against one of the title challenges and a team that are playing very good football this season. Um, but let's prove a point to everyone. Let's get a win. Uh, my score prediction for this game, I'm going to be confident. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say 3-2 to Arsenal. Should be a good game. Really looking forward to this one. Please do drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Do uh, check out that interview I did for the BBC as well. I'd really, really appreciate that. And again, I know I've said it a few times, but thank you all for uh, making that possible. Um, subscribe to FC Game by Game if you are new to the channel. Apologies that the video quality isn't the best. I'm still working on trying to get it more regularly back to the, the high quality stuff that you, you guys are used to. But I'm sure you can comp um, I'm sure you can understand that that stuff takes a lot longer than just filming it on my webcam does. Um, and I haven't really got an unbelievable amount of time in a minute. But as I say, um, thanks for sticking with the channel. Thanks for sticking with uh, this not so great quality. And thanks for listening to my opinion. Um, on that note, yeah, as I say, see you later, guys, and uh, thanks for tuning in. See you soon.